Rheumatoid arthritis is a potentially debilitating chronic inflammatory autoimmune disease affecting approximately 1.3 million people in the U.S. Rheumatoid arthritis patients experience local effects such as bilateral pain, swelling and loss of function in the joints, as well as decreased quality of life and life expectancy. Without treatment, disease progression may lead to loss of function and disability. Half of diagnosed patients are unable to work within 10 years. Rheumatoid arthritis is driven primarily by an intricate network of cytokines that contributes to synovial inflammation and destruction of articular tissues. Each cytokine in this complex regulatory network plays a specific immunological role that can stimulate both autoimmunity and the chronic inflammation associated with rheumatoid arthritis. Among the pro-inflammatory cytokines that lead to this destructive process are TNF-alpha, IL-6, IL-1, IL-17, and interferon gamma. IL-6, a pleiotropic cytokine, plays an important role in rheumatoid arthritis. IL-6 binds directly to the membrane-bound IL-6 receptor GP130 complex, causing cellular activation in inflammatory cells such as macrophages and neutrophils, thereby promoting inflammation. IL-6 also has the potential to activate cells that do not express the membrane-bound IL-6 receptor, provided that they express the commonly found GP130 molecule. This mechanism involves soluble IL-6 receptors. Elevated levels of both IL-6 and soluble IL-6 receptors have been associated with disease severity and progression. Within the joint, synovial fibroblasts and chondrocytes have a major role in disease pathogenesis, characterized by panis formation, cartilage destruction, and the release of inflammatory mediators. Several studies have shown that the aggressive behavior of synovial fibroblasts in rheumatoid arthritis was associated with the release of IL-6 and degradative matrix metalloproteinases. In addition, IL-6 induces osteoclast differentiation, thereby contributing to joint destruction. IL-6 levels and the degree of osteoclast activation correlate with joint damage in patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Outside the joints, IL-6 increases autoimmunity by activating T cells, stimulating B cells, and thereby increasing titers of autoantibodies, including rheumatoid factor. IL-6 is a major inducer of hepatic production of acute phase proteins such as C-reactive protein and hepcidin. Combined with the sequestration of iron in macrophages, excess hepcidin can decrease hemoglobin levels, leading to anemia of chronic disease, and may contribute to fatigue. Increased C-reactive protein levels correlate with worsening rheumatoid arthritis symptoms and are a risk factor in cardiovascular disease, the primary cause of mortality in rheumatoid arthritis. Targeting cytokines with biological agents has marked a major advance in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. While the success of these therapies confirms the key role of cytokines in the pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis, there remain patients who fail to respond or who respond inadequately over time. An unmet medical need remains.